Welcome to the Internet Empowerment Series of Video Tutorials, hosted by author Deltina Hay and sponsored by Plum Web Solutions and Drury University's Social Media Certificate Program. I'm Deltina Hay, and these tutorials are based on my book, The Social Media Survival Guide, already in its second edition. Visit my blog at socialmediapower.com for more social media tips and learn more about my book and my availability for speaking engagements at deltina.com. Neither Deltina Hay nor her sponsors are affiliated with any of the services or tools highlighted in this series. In this session, I'm going to show you how to link your website with your Google Plus page. Now, this is an important process because it can help both your Plus page and your website place better in Google search results. And it can also encourage people to like your page right from your website. Now, we're going to be doing two things. First of all, we're going to be adding a link to our Google Plus page that links to our website. And then we're going to be grabbing some code from Google's developer site and placing that onto our website so that those two links will actually serve as a verification that your Google Plus page is actually associated with your website. Now let's clarify first of all what I mean by Google Plus page. I'm not talking about your Google Plus profile. I'm talking about a Plus page that's been created for your business or your organization or for a brand. And we're going to associate that page with the actual website for that company. Okay, so the very first step is to add a link to your Google Plus page from your website. And you do that by going to your Plus page clicking on About, going to the About area, and then clicking on Edit Profile. Now you may have done this already, you may already have added a link to your website onto your Google Plus page, and that's great, you've already done the first step. But for those of you who haven't, we want to click on that little globe there where it allows us to add links onto our Plus page. And then we want to add a link that goes to our website by clicking Custom Link, and then adding a name for our website and then the actual URL for our website. For instance, and in this example we're going to be linking the Bootstrappers Guide Google Plus page to the Bootstrappers Guide website. And so to that end I created a link here that says the Bootstrappers Guide, that's what the label is, and then a direct URL to the website. So now that that's done, it's the only thing we need to do on our actual Google Plus page. Now we need to go over to the Google Developer site. And you get there by, by going to developers.google.com slash plus sign slash plugins. And then once you're at plugins, you're going to see a number of different things that you can create. It'll say the button and badge. Now we want to do the badge. A Google Plus button is only a, a little icon that when people click on it, it's going to take them to your profile or take them to your page. Okay? We want something more sophisticated that will actually allow people to um, add our page like right to their circles, right from our website. And that's one of the goals. The other goal is, of course, what I said in the beginning, which is that we want to make certain that we, that we verify or link these two sites together so that we can get better search engine placement results. So we want to click on Badge. And then we want to go to the Configuration tool. So the entire URL, if you want to just type in the URL to get there, is right up here on the screen. So I might want to write that down. Now, now that we're at the configuration screen, we're going to need our Google Plus page ID. Now we find that in the URL of our Google Plus page. So I'm going to click back over here onto the page. And here is that number that we need right here. Right in the URL, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back over to the develop, developer link and I'm going to place that number in there and it recognizes the page and it says okay now we're good to go. 
Now, there are a number of different styles you can choose from um, by clicking this, these options right here. You can click just the icon, or you can grab a small badge like this, or you can um, grab a standard badge, which also includes how many people have, have liked your page. I prefer to do a small badge for the website that I'm going to be placing this on. And then we also have some advanced options down here. We can click on advanced options and it's going to show us we can control the size, you know, the width, and also the color scheme. The dark one is uh, black, which might look nice on some sites. For the website I'm placing this on, I prefer the light theme. And asynchronous, make certain that this is clicked because what asynchronous means is that your website will continue to load even while Google is linking up its JavaScript with your page. And so that won't hold your page from loading up. Um, it'll, it'll just automatically load your page and then it'll do its thing after your page is loaded. And so it won't, it won't make the load time of your page any slower than it ordinarily would be. Okay, now the other option here is one that I particularly like is an HTML valid syntax option because I'm going to be placing this badge on an HTML5 valid site. I want to make certain that anything, any bit of code that I place on that site is valid HTML5. Okay, now we scroll down a little bit further and we'll see the code. Now this is going to be different from placing um, many badges that, you, that you've seen or that I've demonstrated you know, in this series. And then usually we just grab the code and then we just go over to our site and we place it. But in this case, we have two different sets of code. We have a bit of code that needs to go in the head section of our website. And then we have another bit of code that needs to be placed wherever we want the tag, or I'm sorry, the badge to actually appear. Okay, so the first step then is to grab this code and copy it. And then we're going to copy this code and put it in the head section of our website. Now I have uh, my, my home page opened up here in Dreamweaver for this website. And the first thing I need to do, since I'm on the index page and in the head section of my page, I see that this is the beginning of my head section and then down here is the end. So I want to make certain that where I place that code is going to be between those two tags. Now I click on paste and there's the there's the um, the code that we need to be on this page. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the developer site where I have my code and I'm going to copy the code where I want the actual badge to appear. So now I've copied that bit of code. I'm going to go back to my to my website and where I want this badge to appear is right over here in the news section of this, of this, web, this web page. And so I'm going to paste the code just under that news header and it isn't going to show up here even in my live view in Dreamweaver uh, because it is calling on, on an API from the Google website. So we're actually going to have to save this and upload it to our website to make certain that it showed up okay. I'm just going to go to my FTP service here and replace that page and then go over here to the live version of the page and we see it online without the badge and now if we refresh it we should see the badge appear under here under the new section now remember that this isn't only a badge where people can you know people can click on the little google plus button and go over to the to the google plus page but also they can roll over the plus pages here and somebody can actually add the page right into any one of their circles they want right from the web page itself. So that's a nifty thing. But what's even more important is that now the Google Plus page and your website are linked together and in essence verified uh, through Google Plus. Okay, so that ends our session for today. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. 
If you are interested in enhancing your resume with a social media certificate from an accredited university, then visit socialmediacertificate.net for information on the online courses I teach for Drury University. Please also visit our sponsor, Plum Web Solutions. That's Plum with a B, WebSolutions.com.